So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you are. Uh, guys, smash the like button on this video. Hit the subscribe button. Share the video as you guys always do. Um, sorry about not being able to do a live stream over the weekend. Uh, had guests. Um, so it was hard to do, but definitely. I'm going to try and get a couple out this week. Um, I feel like... I sense there's some big news coming this week. I don't know why. I think there's some monster news coming um, in the heavyweight division, in the middleweight division, uh, super middleweight division. I just feel like there's something big, big, you know, coming round the corner. It's not far away. Um, I wanted to talk about what I wanted to talk about in this video, that there's strong, strong rumors that Anthony Joshua may step aside apparently there's been 20 million dollars which is about 15 million pounds which have which has been offered to anthony joshua uh, to step aside i spoke about this in a video that i did uh, recently um and apparently now there is strong reports that anthony joshua has been offered 15 million pounds to step aside to allow fury and Usyk fight for the undisputed championship of the world uh, this is going to be a tough decision for Anthony Joshua because Anthony Joshua is a very proud man. Anthony Joshua is somebody that uh, wants to go in there and beat Usyk. Uh, but I think him and his team at this point have to be realistic um, and have to think about his career. Because I remember I, re I remember when, you know, as, I, as you guys know, I follow Khan a lot. When Ame Khan was coming through, he was at 140 pounds, literally fighting everybody. He didn't care who he was fighting. He he was just going in there fighting the best. And I felt like Joshua was cut from the same cloth. He was fighting virtually everybody. He was fighting, you know, everybody. But I think it comes to a point where you have to start becoming strategical. When Ame Khan moved to welterweight, a lot of his moves were quite strategical. Um, and the reason why that is, is because neither Khan, because Khan and Joshua are vulnerable fighters. So if they keep fighting everyone, the chances are they're going to have a, a lot of losses on their record. Um, so when you when you got a fighter who's very talented, like Khan and Joshua, um, you have to become very strategical in your approach. Um, because what happens is, if you start fighting everybody because of the vulnerability, some people are going to get you, some people are going to beat you, especially if you keep fighting the top guys. And Joshua, you can even argue that he hasn't even fought all the top guys. He hasn't fought Wilder. He hasn't fought um, uh, Fury. Uh, those are two of the top guys, which a lot of people would actually pick to beat him now at this point. Um, and, and that's just two of the guys. And then there's Usyk. Who, if he rematches, he'd probably lose again. That would be three losses. And he's, and, he, and he's only had what that would... I think he's had 26 fights or something like that. So you don't want a career where you end up having five, six losses after 30 fights. But that, that there's nothing wrong with that because Joshua has fought at such a high level from a, such a short, you know, early part, early stages of his career that you... And with the vulnerabilities that Joshua's got... You, that's probably going to happen if he keeps fighting the top competition. So I feel like he has to become selective. Now, this for me is the perfect move. I think it makes no sense. I think Joshua's got to forget about what the fans will say. Oh, Joshua's ducking. He's a bum. He's a dog. Forget all of that. Because you're never going to be able to please everybody anyway. You know, if he had beaten Usyk, people would have said, oh, Usyk is a small guy. He's a cruiserweight. You can never please anybody. You can never please anybody. Joshua's got to think. I said this in the video that he can't think about loyalty. Oh, Rob McCracken, I've got to... He's got to do what the best is for his career. Forget about what everyone else says. If taking 15 million pounds and fighting the winner of Usyk Fury is the best for his career, he needs to do that. He needs to forget about what other people are saying. He needs to forget about what fans are saying or what people are media... Who cares? His career is most important. Right, he needs to think about what's best for his career at this point, not what's best for, you know, or or have an ego and say I need to go in there and beat Usyk because to be honest with you, I don't think he can beat Usyk, and that's just me being honest. I, I think he'd lose again. I don't think he's had. I don't think he's enough time. And here's the thing: Joshua could have an interim fight in the in you know in April while them two fight, have an easy tick over. Uh, you know, a knockover job, you know, someone that's going to, you know, like a Pulev type, somebody that's, you know, going to give you a few rounds, but that's not going to beat you, right? Have a tick-over fight while he's waiting for that fight. Or he may want to sit it out. I wouldn't, I don't think he should sit it out. I think he should, I think he should fight. Um, 
Or maybe he rolls the dice and goes in with someone like Dillian White. I don't think that's right for either because Dillian White wants to fight for the heavyweight championship of the world and Joshua wants to, would want to fight the winner. So I personally think it's a great move. I personally think that this would be a great move for Anthony Joshua to step aside and let them two fight and then fight the, fight the winner of that. If Fury will be the favorite against Usyk, I'm not sure Fury 100% wins that. I think he will go in as the bookie's favorite. Of course, he's the bigger man. Uh, he's also a mentally a lot stronger than AJ. He's also somebody that can fight smaller guys and, and, and he, can, he can fight, he can be the big man. Whereas Joshua didn't fight like he was the big man against Usyk. Fury will fight like he's the big man in that fight. But here's what I want to say. If Fury does beat Alexander Usyk, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, I feel that Anthony Joshua has a better chance of beating Tyson Fury. And I'll tell you why. Firstly, Anthony Joshua has sparred Tyson Fury, so he knows his style. And listen, he's fought Alexander Usyk. I just think Usyk has got horrible style for him. I think his fast hand, I mean, fast hands, fast feet, just think he's all wrong. Tyson Fury is very sloppy at times. I've, I've watched a lot of his fights. Tyson Fury at times, and, and listen, he may be switched on when he fights AJ because that would be such a big fight. But Tyson Fury at times can be very sloppy. We saw that against Deontay Wilder. We saw that against Otto Wallin. Hence why he went over. Anthony Joshua has very good boxing skills. He has very good power. And he can always catch Tyson Fury. He can catch Tyson Fury because Tyson Fury is very sloppy. He's fast, don't get me wrong, and he moves quick and he's got great head movement, but he's not like Usyk. Usyk is very smooth in his movements. Fury at times can be very sloppy. Because he's so langly and so tall, you know, he's not smooth at times. And he can come across quite sloppy. And jo I can imagine Joshua hitting him with a huge uppercut, hitting him with a right hand and hurting him. You know, I don't think that's a foregone conclusion. I pick, uh, listen, I pick Fury to beat Joshua. I don't think that's a foregone conclusion, though. I wouldn't, I give Joshua a bigger chance of beating Tyson Fury. Just stylistically, something I like. I think stylistically, I just feel that Anthony Joshua has a better, uh, 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 by no means am I saying Anthony Joshua is going to beat Tyson Fury because I'm not picking him to. I think stylistically, he has a better chance against Fury. Just the fact that Fury's a taller guy, as I mentioned, I think Fury's a little bit sloppy at times. I think Joshua can capitalise. I do. I'm not picking him to win. But I just feel that if Fury was to win, which, like I said, he would be the favourite to win, it makes a lot of sense, a lot of sense, for Joshua to step aside, let them two fight. And most importantly, Joshua's always had a goal of being undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. He's always wanted that. He's always wanted to be undisputed champion, right? He will get an opportunity to become the undisputed champion. And also, the fight that people want to see is Tyson Fury v Usyk. I'm by no means saying that Tyson Fury is going to be Alexander Usyk. Because I don't think that's a foregone conclusion. I know people think, I don't think. A lot of people were saying Usyk Joshua is a foregone conclusion before it happened. I'm telling you guys, that's not a foregone conclusion. Usyk could beat Tyson Fury. I'm telling you, Usyk could beat Tyson Fury. But if Tyson Fury goes into that fight favourite, he's expected to win. If he wins, for me, I give Joshua a better chance of beating Tyson Fury than I do Alexander Usyk. So for me, personally, I think Joshua stepping aside is... Because here's the thing, he'll get one crack at being undisputed champion and he'll get paid handsomely, £15 million to step aside and let them two fight. Yes, I guess Joshua's ego pride might be hurt a little bit, but at this point, Joshua's got to think what's the best for his career, not ego pride that one of them is going to become undisputed and he wants to be the first guy to be undisputed since Lennox Lewis. No, no, you've got to think what's best for your career. You know, and what's best for Joshua's career at this point, in my opinion, is to step aside, let them two fight. He might end up fighting Usyk again because Usyk might beat Fury. But for me, I believe Joshua should step aside. That's just my honest opinion. Willie, I don't know, because like I said, fighters have egos, especially at Joshua's level. They have ego, they're pride. They, he wants to get back and beat Usyk. But £15 million is a lot of money for him to step aside, right? And for them two to fight, and then he gets the winner. I, I, think, I think the boxing fans should be happy with that, because if it is Fury, remember, if, if Joshua fights Usyk right next and loses... We're not going to get the Joshua Fury fight. That's what here in the UK we want. Here in the UK, we want to see Joshua v Fury. We're not going to get that fight if Joshua loses to, to Usyk again. We may get it. We may get it, but it won't hold the same kind of... It, it won't hold... See, if, if 
Usyk and Fury fight and Fury wins, right? The fight between Fury and Joshua is still massive. If Joshua beat, gets beat again by Usyk, yeah, it'll still be big. But let's be honest, it won't have that same, it won't have that same buzz because people were like, this guy's a beaten and broken man, Joshua. Whereas right now, look, he got outboxed by Usyk. You know, he lost a decision. Some people think, you know, it was a close. I don't personally think it was. I think Usyk won that comfortably. Yeah, Joshua won rounds, but I felt like Usyk was always in control of the fight. I felt like Usyk was always in charge. I felt like Usyk was always in control of the fight. I never felt like Joshua really got a foothold in the fight. I never really felt like Joshua was ever going to win the fight. Do you understand? I always felt like Usyk was in control. He was, he was the guy that was going to win. Yeah, you know, I spoke to uh, Raymond, who I spoke on Facebook, a really good dude that I have conversations with on Facebook. He's probably going to watch this video. And he said, well, I don't feel like Joshua, uh, um, um, Usyk dominated Joshua. Uh, I meant dominated in the sense that he never, I never really felt Joshua was going to win. From round one to round 12, I never really got the sense that Joshua was going to win that fight. I never, I never felt that Joshua was going to win. I, I always felt Usyk was in control and he was going to win that fight. Joshua had his moments, but nothing, nothing to suggest that I thought he was going to win. I personally think this is the best move for uh, Anthony Joshua. Step aside, let them two fight. Uh, I personally give Joshua a better chance of beating Tyson Fury. I just don't know why. Stylistically, I, I think that that might be a more favorable fight for him. I think so. I just think Fury at times is sloppy uh, and Joshua could take advantage of that. I'm telling you, I, I like that fight for, for Anthony Joshua. I don't think it's a foregone conclusion. Whereas I actually give him a lesser chance of beating Usyk. I just think Usyk's style of his movement, his uh, great movement, his hand speed, his foot speed, his smooth movement. Not sloppy, but smooth. You know, and Fury is smooth as well, but at times he can be sloppy. Whereas Usyk, hasn't, Usyk isn't sloppy. He's just, you know what you're going to get.